Hi, my name is Ben. Welcome to this video where I'm going to walk you through how to activate high fidelity sound on Zoom. Now, the reason why this can be interesting or even important is if you are playing music on Zoom. We're all using Zoom at the moment, some of us for music a lot of the time. Um, for example, on my Patreon page, uh, Ukulele Road Trips, we have um, a ukulele play along and a ukulele open mic every month. And it's really useful for those to know how to switch on the original sound option on your Zoom. That way, the algorithms that constantly check the sound to take away noises like barking dogs or somebody tapping on a, on a keyboard, or also just a fan or a computer fan nearby, all these sounds are taken away by Zoom's algorithm, which means when you're playing music, the algorithm is looking for speech and will alter your music, the sound that you're making with your instrument instruments. So that's what we're going to have a look at now. Let's go. Right, so I'm here in the corner. Can you see me? Kind of? Yes. Good. Wonderful. And here's my Zoom. Uh, this is my face, so that means that is my account. And what you want to do is go on the settings button here at the top right. Just go ahead and click that. And then this will pop up. Bing! All your settings. Um, so, of course, what you want to go to is audio settings over here. Audio. And here you have your speaker. You can choose from your speakers, test it, your microphone, um, what's capturing your sound to send it to your friends. And underneath that, tuk, 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 we want to have a look at this music and professional audio. That's what we're looking for. So, what you want to do is go ahead and click show in meeting option to turn on original sound. So you go ahead and click that. Now the thing about this is that it adds a button to your Zoom. It's not something that in these settings you decide if it's on or off. You're deciding to view that extra button and then in Zoom, as we'll see, you'll be able to choose if that option is on or not. Now these are the three options um, that you can add when original sound is enabled. You can disable the echo cancellation meaning um, this is part of the algorithm and it will alter the sound. So if you're sure about your setup, then you want to go ahead and disable echo cancellation if you've got good headphones and you're sure that no audio from the Zoom will make it to your microphone, you can click on that. If you're not very good and maybe your speakers are on and you're afraid that your mic will pick up the sound that's coming from your friends on Zoom, then you want to leave it um, clear like this so that it's on. But we're going to disable it. High fidelity music mode, which means this is going to use more bandwidth than uh, if this was um, off. And it's also going to be nicer for the people listening, provided they have good internet, as, as you do, I'm sure. So you can click that too. And use stereo option. Now this is really cool. Um, is If you have a stereo USB microphone, for example, that can be very useful because then people will be able to enjoy you playing in stereo. Stereo meaning that the two ears will um, be receiving different signals rather than one signal twice in each ear if you're using one single microphone like this one that I'm now making noise by picking up you know, with. Um, that can be quite useful to play in stereo, not only if you have a USB mic that uses stereo, like the Yeti Pro, for example, and that's one that's got stereo, but also if you're using two mics like this, that you plug into a USB audio interface, which is then plugged into your computer, that can work too. Now, the thing that's a little sad, if you do live streams on YouTube, is that the stereo option doesn't work on YouTube, which means only people on Zoom will be able to enjoy the stereo. Now, once you've chosen all these options, stereo, you don't need to click that if you only have uh, a mic with one channel, a mono, mono mic. Uh, okay, now you've clicked that. You can go ahead and close, you don't need to save anything. And now I'm going to open a new meeting. Uh, are any friends? Anybody? But basically you can then go, go ahead and turn on original sound. Turn off original sound if you need to talk and you want to make sure that it doesn't get too noisy for everybody. What you don't want to do is turn 
uh, turn on the original sound and leave it turned on if you're saying nothing and you're not on mute you think well it's not too noisy here but what's actually going to happen is that every little noise that's around you if you've got a good microphone is going to get picked up so the fan of the computer very light background noise everything is going to be sent to your friends so you, you might want to make sure that if you're just chatting you turn that off okay so I'm gonna leave this square at the bottom here and I'm now gonna go on zoom to show you the difference between the two settings. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the, it's recording, obviously, because that way I get to add it to the video here. Um, here you can see the original sound is not turned on. So this is the sound that is controlled by the algorithm looking for speech and trying to take out any back, background noises. Um, let me play a little bit for you, see how that sounds. with the original sound on, which is, you know, it now is. So there you go. If you're leading a song in the ukulele play along, singing at the open mic or doing anything with music that you want to share with your friends on Zoom, um, make sure you activate this really cool function. What a great, great program um, Zoom is to help us in these times and in this very different year and a half we've, uh, we've been playing music through, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.